Next week is the DOJ's National Crime Victims Rights Week, honoring victims of crimes and crime victims advocates. Our Cam Benelli spoke with Jones County crime victims advocates about the importance of the week. Priscilla Pitts has been a crime victims advocate for seven years, but grew up in the world of advocacy with her mother working at a domestic abuse shelter. I had a different insight growing up, especially about domestic violence, as far as the, the cycle of abuse, statistics, resources, you know, things like that. Working at the Jones County Sheriff's Department as a crime victims advocate is a passion for her. And next week, Crime Victims Rights Week holds a special place in her heart. It's important to me to be an advocate to speak for those who maybe can't or are afraid to speak for themselves. Pitts works with victims of crimes every day to help them whether they need resources, emotional support, or just someone to listen. Just like Pitts, Tia Malicia Cooper at the Laurel Police Department also says this week holds significance to her. It have a special meaning to me because sometimes, sometimes my victims and my survivors become family. You know, they are not just a number. They're not just a, 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 a case they become, you know, family. Crime victim advocates provide resources to crime victims to let them know they aren't alone when going through the court process or grieving the death of a family member. But it's important thus that nobody who's been victimized is alone. And that's what advocates are for. In Jones County, Cam Benelli, WDAM7, on your side. Now, if you have been a victim of a crime and need support, law enforcement can direct you to the resources you need.